Breeders' Cup Dirt Sprint lost a big player when Vacoma unfortunately came up sick and had to be scratched, and he probably would have been the favorite. He's a very good horse when he's able to show up, and unfortunately he will not be showing up in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. But you will be showing up in the Breeders' Cup Sprint, and you'll be playing it through Naira Bets, and that's an order. Head over to NairaBets.com. If you're not a member, use promo code CUP25. We'll give you a free $25 bet, and we'll match it to $200 of your initial deposit. Yaupon, the three-year-old, is probably the horse to beat and figures to be the favorite in this race. He's the number 10 horse, and he has speed. And I'll tell you something. There is a surprising dearth of speed in this Breeders' Cup sprint, and I expect Yaupon to try to wire the field. Pretty amazing if you're Steve Asmussen. You have a horse in Volado who looks like he's going to be the very big favorite in this race. He gets hurt. You go to the bench for your three-year-old Yalpon, and he didn't even run maybe his best horse in Nashville, who's going to be one to nine a little bit earlier on Breeders' Cup weekend. But Yalpon, and we'll take a look at him winning the Amsterdam at Saratoga, he's good. Is he as good as some of the older horses? Well, that's really a question. Now, he's got a muddy track this day, but he's been very good on dry tracks as well. And he's been a blowout winner, and most importantly, it appears on paper like he's supposed to be the controlling speed, and I think that makes him very, very dangerous. I don't want to bet him at 5-2 to two or 2-1 two to one in this race. That's my problem. He's, face, he's facing much more accomplished, tougher, older horse in this race than he's ever faced. He's obviously good. He has a tactical advantage. But I'm going to take a small, small shot against him in here. I'm not doing it with Forensic Fire, though I do think that Forensic Fire is a player. And we'll take a look at Forensic Fire winning the Vosburg. He is a really cool horse. Now, the Vosburg field... Not as strong as some Vosbergs in the past, but he ran well in this race last year, as a matter of fact. And he's obviously a good horse. Now, often when he gets in these grade one races, um, he doesn't run as well as he's run some other races. I do think it's a misnomer to say that he's just a Belmont horse, though, because he's run very well outside of Belmont Park. And I'd almost love to see him win this Breeders' Cup at Keeneland so he could stop, silence the, the people that say, oh, he just needs Belmont Park to run his best race. But I just don't think that's true. Yes, he's run some of his best races at Belmont, but he's run very well in other places. And I don't think he's impossible in this race. I want to talk about the three-year-old Philly Franks Rockette for a moment, though. She obviously comes in here running very, very well in her races, and her figures are almost fast enough to win this race because it doesn't appear it'll take her Herculean effort. My problem is that she's been getting very, very good trips, and while she should get one as well being forward here, I don't think she's faced anything like the horses she's facing here, and I think she's taking, being, taking it's a tough task for her to get it done here, but I admire the connections for taking a shot. I like Diamond Oops in this race, and we'll take a look at Diamond Oops winning the Phoenix, the prep at Keeneland last time out, beating Empire of Gold, the long shot, and Echo Town, another horse for Steve Asmussen. What a bunch of sprinters he has. Now, obviously, he's meeting tougher horses in here, but I like the way he got the job done. He's going to have to get himself a little more forwardly placed. But this is a horse who's been successful throughout his career, but I think if you look at his races, his very best races are sprinting. And I like the fact that he's cutting back to six furlongs now for, for trainer Patrick Biancone, who's been a bit conservative with him at times. He's also the horse in this race who's run the fastest figures, a pair of 105 buyers. So he's got those fast figures to get back to. He won't be favored, and I like Diamond Oops in this year's sprint. Let's take a look at the resurgent CZ Rocket for trainer Peter Miller, who's now won five races in a row since being claimed, including a couple of grade twos in California. Tremendous claim by Peter Miller, and he's gotten a very talented horse back into his best game. But he's facing tougher horses than the likes of Flagstaff, who we beat here, and Collusion Illusion, who's coming back for this race, another three-year-old in here. I think he's going to find the going a lot tougher than it was in the races he was running in. And I'm a little bit against CZ Rocket, though, the Breeders' Cup sprint. I think it's relatively wide open. They probably have to beat the three-year-old, <coughs> Yalpon, who looks like the controlling speed. I'll try to do it with the number 11, Diamond Oops, who I put on top of Yalpon. The eight, Frenzy Fire, is third. And the seven, Whitmore, you can't ignore the old pro, and I'm sorry about not talking about him. He seems like he's tailing off a bit, but he did run well at Saratoga in second, and you never know when Whitmore is going to show up with another good race. I put him fourth. The Breeders' Cup Sprint, play it through Naira Bets. Head on over to NairaBets.com. If you're not a member, use the promo code CUP25. We'll give you a free $25 bet, as well as matching up to $200 of your initial deposit.